Well, hey everyone, uh, welcome aboard. This is Mr. Garner. You can see me in the upper right of your screen. Um, I will be your statistics teacher for this year. Happy to do that. Just feel kind of bad that we're stuck meeting this way. It was not the plan, but um, you know, we're in strange times. So we're just doing our best and I don't know what else we can do. But I want to just kind of give you some introductory things and uh, kind of send you on your way. All right, first of all, you're seeing this. It's actually posted to YouTube and you should be able to speed this up. So uh, I know when I watch videos, I took two courses over the summer, uh, one through University of Sydney, one through Khan Academy. And Khan Academy especially just had video after video after video. and I just went ahead and watched those at 1.75x and sped those things up and got through them a lot quicker. So if you are having to watch this and we'll talk about what uh, circumstances may have provoked that situation, um, I would speed it up, you know, as fast as you can figure out what's going on because people who lecture like me tend to do it slow. And <laughs> trust me, it can. A lot, there's just a lot of dead, dead air. So um, anyway, um, you're signed up for AP Statistics. Uh, you probably are wondering about the course. You may have asked some of the people who took it last year. Um, first of all, it's mainly, uh, well, it's about the most applied mathematics course you'll ever take. But ironically, there's no solving for X. So while we're dealing with numbers and we are dealing with some math, there's a kind of extensive probability section um, where there's arithmetic is obviously needed. Um, for the most part, we're just trying to figure out what to do with data, how to describe it, how to communicate what's there, what it implies, what it infers, that kind of thing based in a probabilistic world. Because uh, one thing about stats you may have seen is that you can do everything right and still come out with a wrong answer, which isn't an answer that you would be deducted for being wrong. It's just that you can make some conclusions based on numbers that aren't actually what's really happening. It's one of the limitations, but uh, what we have to do is we have to understand the world. We put uh, values and variables that we're interested into in numbers, and we need to derive meaning from those numbers as best we can knowing that there's a chance we could be wrong. And the probability part of the course is what helps us to deal with that um, chance variation that we see as we deal with data. And, and everything is being quantified. So, you know, if you're doing this, you know, thinking, eh, it's just kind of a filler, I just want my resume to look good. Trust me, uh, every field uses this. Uh, music uses it. Uh, health and human performances, social sciences, uh, traditional sciences, engineering, uh, you will be uh, able to consume statistical information and you'll be able to understand things like journal entries and, and all sorts of things that regular people don't get. And that's an important thing. In fact, I spoke to a parent a couple of days ago and a parent was you know interested in the nuts and bolts of the class started talking to me about well I'm an engineer and I did calculus and all these upper level math classes but for the last 20 years I've been using statistics to earn a paycheck so this is extremely extremely useful very appropriate for just about anything it is certainly not wasting your time so uh, we're going to uh, end up with an AP exam. So hopefully you can get some college credit and considering how expensive college is, well, <laughs> you know, we're always looking for ways to cut corners there. So um, again, I'm sorry we have to start out this way, but we are going to do our best. I know I'm going to do my best. I guarantee you, you can learn AP statistics virtually as easily as you can if you're sitting in my classroom. Uh, it's just going to be how much you want to put into it. The other thing that kids ask me is, is it an easy class? 
Um, for some kids, they don't do any homework and make A's and make a five on their AP exam. Other kids uh, work and work and work and then after a certain period of time, maybe a week or two in the class, just decide I'm out. Now I'm not trying to run anybody off, but keep in mind that the counselors do have uh, deadlines for dropping and I will try to keep you apprised of those. So let's go ahead and start out with your Canvas page. Um, your actual Canvas page isn't set up yet. Um, I'm, I'm doing this four days ahead of opening day, but I, do, I have set up a master class from which I can import into yours. So this is gonna be what you'll see. I have it in student view. And just gonna run through the features here without uh, boring you to death, I hope. Um, when you get to your main page, I'm gonna try to make this as quick and easy to use as possible. I'm not a big modules guy, but um, you know, I just want kids to be able to navigate this thing, get what they need and get out. Um, probably I'm going to do an announcement for every day and that will end up in the upper part of your screen unless that gets to be too busy, in which case just click over here and check the daily announcements. It'll tell you what to do and when it's, well, you know just tell you how the day is going to go here's me here's my room which eventually hopefully you'll all be in uh, if you want to see a picture of me oh let's look at me all right that was like uh, 15 years ago i'm way older than that um course information this is just kind of what we're going to cover in each semester um, once you get yours to access you can look that over all right, to contact me, you can email me, uh, but Canvas email is preferred. This is my school email address, the regular one that your parents might use, but I believe I get notifications for Canvas and I will check it provided it's not two in the morning. Um, what I've got for right now, and it may change for tutorials, I think I'm gonna just keep my Zoom open for an extra 15 minutes at the end of the day from 3 to 3.15. If anybody needs help, show up in that window. If it's 3.16 and no one's there, I'm out, all right? Phone number to my room. Um, I may be home some days teaching you like I am now or I could be at school. Uh, kids love checking their grades. Here's a link to home access. And here's just a My Katie Cloud link should you need it. Um, one thing I almost left out and then suddenly thought, wow, we need this. Uh, this is your bell schedule. Uh, you not only can look at it, and I do a lunch, so follow that schedule. Um, you can download it and print it, provided that you can print things. All right, so this is just sort of uh, some quick information. Um, your course information, Homework procedures, you can click here and read it. Uh, it's probably a lot like what you've done before, especially if you did Algebra 2 with Miss Lisk when she was on, she, well, she's still on the team. And uh, the homework procedures are very similar. How to upload, unless you're a new student, you probably have that figured out. Um, just between us, I prefer PDF and I prefer it in an orientation where I don't have to rotate it. So. If I can see it up to down, top to bottom, that would be swell, all right? Um, if you want Canvas notifications on your phone, here's some instructions. Um, I don't do that to my phone. I don't like it binging all the time, so um, yeah. All right, uh, retesting, we are doing that. The policy is here. And once we get a test under our belt, we can go into that more. Um, honor code. Your first assignment is to complete an urgent items quiz. It's not really a quiz, it's just under the quiz feature. And it's really two homework grades, but it's real quick. You have to go through it and look, uh, agree to certain things and inform me about things like calculators. Um, well, you'll, I'll show it to you in a minute, but uh, the honor code is in there and there's a place to agree to that and so forth. Um, the course requirements, uh, this is probably a good document to read. It tells you the required supplies. Um, I, don't <laughs> I don't know about the tissues, okay? But the rest of it is probably pretty good. 
Um, we're very calculator driven. We're driven by technology. So these are the two calculators, mainly the TI Inspire. We'll talk more about that later. Uh, the grading breakdown, like an AP class, 70-20-20. Uh, it talks about tests, quizzes, homework, um, proper answering techniques. I would take some time to read this. There's a lot of writing in the course, right? If you are going to be doing statistics for stakeholders and they don't understand what statistics is and what it means, then you need to communicate effectively, which means you've got to write it out with complete sentences and capitalizations is formal. So, excuse me, read up on that. Um, absences, um, yeah, you can read all of that. Cell phones, guys, don't have your cell phone on and please don't connect with another um, <laughs> another student while we're Zooming and talk about how weird Garner looks today. All right, Zoom during study hall or before or after school or something, not Zoom, but text, all right? And hey, I know <laughs> I've done it too. I've, <laughs> I've been in Zoom meetings at the school and texted with other teachers in the meantime, but let's not get distracted, all right? Um, calculators, if you can't acquire one or don't own one and you know, you're in a real bind. I believe that the school will be issuing calculators, but it won't be until mid-September. Um, until then, they're out of the classroom. And if some of you guys end up in the classroom, you know, uh, I can't just hand you a calculator, at least not that I know of, because it, we could be spreading viruses that way. So, um, all right, we're, we have an online textbook. We'll get to that. Uh, urgent items quiz, we'll get to that. All right, so um, what else do we have here? Uh, course requirements. Okay, the online textbook at this moment is having uh, quite a bit of difficulty. We can probably last a good while without it, but um, you know, information will follow. Um, AP, pre-AP or KAP now, is uh, got a commitment page that you're going to read and that'll be part of your urgent items quiz. You can download it if you want to. This last line right here is some KVA courses. Now look, we have a blended course. So you guys that normally would be in my classroom, you are now showing up every day along with the kids that agreed to show up every day, okay? Um, so these are probably some good things to read about. Um, I'm not requiring that you do. These are actual little courses and um, you may be getting that in every single one of your classes, so whatever, okay? Um, but it's there if you need it. But getting back to this KVA and intermittent, I actually have four different rosters for each class. Uh, two of them are KVA, GT, and AP, and two of them are intermittent or face-to-face, -face, if you will, both uh, 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 KVA and intermittent. So how's this going to work? Until we all get together, until we split off and some of you start showing up, um, I'm treating you both as the same. The difference being is that if you signed up for KVA, you're expected to have the technology, have the printers, um, you're all set up for online learning. Um, for those of you who signed up for intermittent or face-to-face, -face, there is not an, a 100% expectation that you will be able to show up every day. Um, I would like for you to do it. If you can't, you're gonna have to watch the recordings of what we do. Um, that's okay. Uh, trying to think yeah so um, for for the time being that's how we'll handle it I would appreciate um, face to face or intermittent students to show up during their class period that's assigned if there's a technology issue you can sign up to a different one all right um, I, I can post that up I don't think I have my schedule posted in the times well it's the a schedule all right so I'm off six period and I have a first period HCC study hall, otherwise I'm in class. Uh, if all else fails, watch the recording. All right, so um, 
you've got a current calendar here it's not live so there are no links in it but you can at least see what's coming up everything here is subject to change and here's where the good stuff is all right so we're in the first chapter data analysis so you click on the picture uh, these are the powerpoints that we're going to cover but they're going to be in pdf format so i'll open one and you can just print these out if you want to if you can spare the paper or you know maybe fit four per page or something and you can bring them to class to keep from having to write a whole bunch of stuff right um, you, then you can just add little snippets of things that I say and that will anybody can do that whatever you want okay so these are all going to be notes and examples that's a good thing I have posted up all the homework answers all right so all I ask is that you use these as a reference if I look at a homework you submit and it looks exactly like my answer then I might be inclined to not give you credit for that assignment. So please don't copy, all right? Um, the videos that I have are gonna be posted here. Clearly I don't have one up here yet, but this is gonna go up there. Uh, reprints are pretty important, all right? Um, I can't hand you packets, but here is the first one. Um, I'm not asking that you print the whole thing but when we have notes page that are kind of fill-ins, then those may need to be printed out. It's up to you how you want to handle this. I am not trying to you know, call dibs on your ink cartridges, but um, I can't hand you a packet. They're up in my room, but I can't hand them to you. Uh, homework number two, anything that I need to post up here that's not in a packet will be here, and I will remind you that's where it is when it comes time to do homework, okay? All right, um, let's see. Um, tests and quizzes, these I'm gonna try to make good as a, you know, an online quiz. I mean, they'll be tests or quizzes just because this says quizzes, it, it doesn't mean it can't be a test. Um, there may be ways to secure these things. If there aren't, then um, I have to ask you to be honest with these things. Like don't get together with a group of your friends on a Zoom and work the test together, all right? Just work it, get an honest grade. If you need retesting, that means you did not learn it, okay? Uh, if you're gonna cheat your way through until we all are together, then you're going to suddenly encounter, you know, live tests where you can't cheat and you can't get help and you're going to bomb out in a hurry, all right? And you're not gonna have a good foundation for when you know AP rolls around, the AP test. So I'm just gonna throw that out at you and you know expect you to behave like big kids. Um, you know, I guess if you're not cheating, you're not trying, but if you are cheating, then you're, uh, I don't know. Uh, that's not something that I respect too much. Okay, um, assignments, they should show up in your calendars along with tests and quizzes, I put them there. Um, each day I'm going to stop and I'm going to give you a number. So I think now would be a good time to stop. All right, see that number, 8224? Um, that is actually gonna be how I'm going to take attendance. So somewhere in the middle of a presentation, I'm just gonna, maybe in the middle of a PowerPoint or something, I'm gonna put in a slide with a number. Uh, take a moment, write down the number or commit it to memory, short-term memory, and then come into your assignments and you will have an attendance. And if you click on that, I'm in student view, you're not gonna be able to see it, but it's going to ask you to put text in. You're just gonna type in this case, 8224 and submit it. And I need you to do this by three. I mean, if we're doing it in class, then we'll just pause and I'll just say, okay, we're gonna take attendance now. And you can go ahead and open up the attendance. It's just like an assignment. And um, type in that code for the day, get out of it, and then within two, or two minutes or so, we'll resume, all right? So we are going to resume. 
So that's a daily thing, and that is for today. That is for Monday. I need it by three, okay? I, every, every day we have to take attendance, um, and uh, if you're not able to come in during your scheduled class time, just plan to watch that video sometime before three and then get the code in there. All right, because otherwise I have to mark you absent, and I don't know, mom and dad may not like that. All right, um, so I think I've pretty much covered all I can think of for Canvas. So I'm just going to throw up here a couple of calculators. Um, this is your 84. Um, I think I can change the skin here. Let's see, open. Do, 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 do. All right. Um, that's uh, an 83, that would work. Uh, there's also a black version of this. This is a silver edition, but the regular black version will work. Um, if you have that, great. Um, and if you don't, uh, here is an Inspire. You know what those look like. We've been working with them. Um, there are older versions of this. Anything, any Inspire pretty much will work even if it's fairly old. I think you would probably need software version 3.9 on it. So um, this is way up at like 4.5 or what, whatever, but uh, any version of an Inspire, even if it's a black and white screen, if it's fairly recent, then it should be okay. All right, um, I had something in my mind that I just forgot, so I'm gonna pause for a second and think about it. Okay, um, I remembered what it was. Uh, the assignment. Uh, I'm not going to um, elaborate on assignments. Um, and I think I'll leave student view to kind of show you what this is. Um, the assignment for today is this urgent items quiz here, urgent items for AP statistics. So uh, I'm gonna give you the preview of it. Um, I have full access to Canvas for this course. If you're here, that would be a yes. Um, I need you to sign up for Remind. Here are the instructions for doing it. I need everybody to do this. I'm not gonna bombard you with text messages, but it has, was such a help last year. I was able to contact kids during you know, AP testing issues, and not during the tests, certainly not, but when things required me to, calculators that walked off, it's important that I can get in touch with you. And I can open it up for two ways so that you can get in touch back. All right, um, I have read and I agree to the honor code. Um, yeah, why not? What are you gonna do, not agree to it? Okay, um, on this one, this is gonna take you to a short questionnaire and it's gonna be a big help to me. Uh, it'll help me with your name, although if you're not gonna be in my classroom, it's gonna take me forever. Um, a little bit about yourself, you know, uh, are you involved with school activities, are you employed, that kind of thing. The last two are probably the most important. It can give me where you're at technology-wise, about whether you can print things out, if you have a working smart camera to upload homework, all that sort of thing. And then this will, this is the, probably the most important thing because I need to get a count of kids who need an Inspire calculator. All right, to be checked out. And don't shortchange yourself because if you don't do this and you need a calculator, we may not have set aside enough for you, okay? So let's see, let's get back to this. Do, 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 do. So let's just say I did that. And um, this is all of those things in the front that I expect you to read and um, just say that you did. And creating an account with College Board, just follow this link, it's pretty straightforward, and then come back and say yes. And this is pretty important too. Is this your, are you a senior, and is this your fourth math? All right, because if you are, um, you have to pass it. And I get kids that have trouble doing it, and then they have trouble graduating. So it's not gonna hurt you to say yes or no here. I just need to know. All right, then you submit the quiz, and um, then don't worry about the score. If you did the whole thing, you get two free homework grades, all right? 
So I think that's all I've got for you. Um, if there's anything else, I can add an, append an appendage to this. Um, and uh, yeah, so for tonight, just go ahead and do that urgent items for AP statistics. And let's go ahead and call it for today. And um, I look forward to working with you this year. If you have any questions, Canvas email me. Okay, bye.